Hey y'all, it's me, Mariah, aka Utterly Chloe, and I thought since it's Pride Month, I could rate the LGBTQ ships in Miraculous Ladybug. Of course, I'm probably gonna miss some. I'm gonna do some canon and some non-canon ships. And the usual disclaimer, these are all just my opinion. You obviously don't have to agree or disagree. You respect my opinion, I respect your opinion. It's that simple. Also, I already know that a bunch of people are okay with gay people because of their religion and stuff, so if that's you, then just don't watch the video. Now that that's out of the Way. Anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting and just get into it. First, we're gonna do Jula Rose, which is Julica and Rose. And I actually do like this ship. I think it's really cute. It is also canon, like they are dating. I don't think they'll outright just say it because they want to be able to show the show in all parts of the world. But anyways, I really like how they have opposite aesthetics. I think that's really cute. They are very non-toxic, which is always a plus and very rare in the show. I honestly can't really think of anything negative to say about them, which if you know me, that's very surprising. I always have something negative to say, but um, I'm going to put them in the S category. Moving on to Mark and Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel. I think this is canon. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. I don't really care that much because I don't really care about them. If you're wondering why, I hate Nathaniel. I think he's really annoying and I just don't like him and I don't want him to find happiness. So like when he first meets Mark, he literally is so rude to him for nothing. Like, I I'm sorry, but I just don't like him. I don't like this ship. Mark deserves better, so. Also, honestly, I, I need to rewatch the show because I don't really remember that much that happens, but like all they do is come up with stupid plans for Adrianette, so. I'm gonna just put them in the F category because I just don't like them. No, not at all. I, I just want to make a comic book, if you want to, that is. A comic book? Us? Together? Never. Next for the canon ships is Miss Bustier and her wife, which side note, they'll show them literally kissing, but they won't confirm Jula Rose in the show. So like, huh? Honestly, I'm really behind on Miraculous, so I haven't even seen the episode that they are in together. So I asked Ray to just tell me what she thinks of them, because I really don't feel like watching it right now. Peaches, 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 peaches. So there's that. Um, I can't give my opinion on it, so I'm just not even gonna rate it because I haven't even seen the episode. I'm a bad YouTuber. <laughs> Next, and I think last canon miraculous LGBTQ ship is the best one, Zoina. I'm sure if you're familiar with this channel and my voiceovers, you already know that I ship this. I love the way Marinette helps Zoe come out of her shell and helps her be her true self, even if I don't care about Zoe's true self. I also feel like it's a way more healthier ship than Adrianette. Sadly, Marinette doesn't return Zoe's feelings, but it is confirmed by Thomas that Marinette is bi, so I mean, she could switch up in the future. I highly doubt she will, but that girl is not bisexual. That girl is Adrian sexual, honestly. And girly, like, love at first sight. And it's just, I think they're cute. They, they match each other's personalities pretty well. So yeah, obviously this is going in the S category for me. Adrian's not the one I'm in love with. Who is it then? <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so mad. My chemistry is just so. <laughs> Moving on to non canon miraculous ships, we've got Marigami, which is the ship between Marinette and Kagami. I used to love them a lot, they were like my number one. But um, I, st I still think they're cute, but my love for Kagami has gone down since she went with that crusty, dusty rat Felix. So just because she's dating him, it makes me just not like her because like, why would you lower yourself to that man? Like, I just don't understand it. I already have a whole video up on my channel about why I hate Feligami, the ship. So if you want to watch that, you can. It's up. I'll probably make a why I hate Felix video later, but I feel like I already said why I hate him in that video. So, but anyways, I think that their chemistry was really cute it was really nice how marinette was like her first friend you know and made her feel like welcomed and everything it's basically zoe net but like you know 
it's not like confirmed or that one of them likes each other or anything. But anyways, I'm still gonna put them in the S tier because I still have a love for them deep down in my very little heart. Gami, thank you. Thanks to you, I've just realized something super important. Does that mean I've been a good friend? The best of friends. Next, we'll do Chloe and Sabrina. I don't know what their ship name is. I don't really care, to be honest. I do not ship them. I don't know why people do. I mean, I guess I can see it, but I don't see it, you know, if that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. I am not going to lie. I used to think that Sabrina was like in love with Chloe or something because I just don't understand why she would do all the crap that Chloe makes her do unless she's like in love with her or Chloe is paying her or buying her things. I don't know, but apparently like they, she's legitimately thinks that Chloe's her friend and everything and she does, spoiler alert, I guess. I don't know if the episode has come out or not. I'm a fake fan. Um, she gets a redemption arc and I don't know. I don't think Sabrina should have gotten a redemption arc. Like, I mean, I really thought that this friendship was because she was gaining in something, but it wasn't. She's just supposed to be like the victim. I don't know. I have a problem with this show. They cannot just keep villains. Like pretty much everyone is redeemed. But anyways, um, I'm going to put this in the F category because I just think it's terrible. The way like Chloe treats her is terrible. So I don't know why you would want them to be together when she's literally like so terrible to her. She literally locks her in a freaking closet. Not only am I Sabrina's best friend, I'm her only friend. So she better do what I say because without me, she has nothing. Next up, I can already smell the hatred I am about to receive. We're gonna do Luke Adrian, which is Luca and Adrian, and um, no. I'm sorry, y'all, but I do not ship them. Not even a little itty bitty tiny witty little bit. I don't know. I just, I, I can't see Adrian in the LGBTQ community. He just seems straight to me. They don't even interact like that much, so for me personally, I'm gonna put it in the F category. Uh, please don't kill me. Next, we'll do Lila Net, which is Lila and Marinette. And um, I'm about to unveil a deep secret that I have only told like one other person. Back in the day, when I was like younger, I used to ship them. Um, my my reasoning back then was because I just loved enemies to lovers. So like anything enemies to lovers, I'd be like, heck yeah. And there was this one girl on Instagram who would make like edits of them and it just made me like them. Uh, but um, obviously as I've matured now, I don't ship them anymore. I will say though, they do look like cute to get. Like don't lie. Like they look like, you know, they look like cute, you know. Um, So I think for old times sake, I'll just put them in the middle, even though they probably belong in the F. Next up, we have Amelie and Natalie. Is that how Amelie? Amelie? I don't, I don't remember. Anyways, this is a kind of new kind of old ship. I don't know. I've just recently started seeing some people talk about it because of some of the recent episodes. Um, I, I guess I can see it. I mean, I can't say anything because we haven't like actually seen them interact. We've just seen Natalie talk about her. So I don't have like too much of an opinion on them i don't hate them i don't love them i just don't really care about them because like there's really like not that much content of them so because of that i'm just gonna put them in the middle i guess because i don't really know where to put them Okay, there is like so many ships that are non-canon. I'm obviously going to miss some, so I'm just going to quickly rate through like a bunch of them because this video is kind of long. I did not expect there to be this many, but uh, Nino and Adrian, absolutely not F tier. They are literal like 
best friends. I, I hate how like everyone that's best friends has to be like a couple. No, stupid. Not to mention, I just ship Alia and Nino way too much to ship them with anyone else, to be honest. Like they're just the best ship in the show, period. Is hangout time always like this? No, but it should be. Next, Alia Nat, Alia and Marinette. Same problem, best friends. I don't think they need to be together. F tier. No bullet. <laughs> Next, Klogami, Chloe and Kagami. Um, no, I don't, have they even talked? Oh, they have talked. And it was literally them like insulting each other and Chloe trying to ruin her day. So yeah, no, F tier. Next, Marinette and Chloe, Clo Chloe Nat, is that what it's called? Obviously F tier, she's literally her bully and torments her. And lastly, Kim and this guy whose name I can't remember. And obviously, since I can't remember his name, I can't even remember their interactions together, so I'm just not even gonna rate them. But yeah, guys, that's all of the ships that I will be rating today. Let me know in the comments if there's any that you liked that I missed. Also, let me know what is your favorite ship out of them all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Is this my fault I'm better than all of you? Ridiculous! Uh, who are you again?